So recently, we just had a sex tape leap. Uh, I talked about that previously on the podcast. I talked about my impressions of the situation. I talked about uh, people's reactions to the situation. But what we're going to talk about today is the backlash and the impression from the person going through it as well as the public. Uh, so I have Lionel and Jasmine with me on the Black Swan podcast. I'm here, I'm your host again, Anwar Snuffy Dog Smith. This is the Black Swan, B-L-A-C-K-S-W-A-N. So I just want to get the opinions of, when we talk about the backlash, like after it's finished, after the podcast out there, after where everybody sees the podcast, uh, not the podcast, after the, the sex tape, you didn't finish bouncing, you go boom, boom, boom. You was really sucking the boom, boom, boom. After all that happened, I want to know is, what is the perception? So the first question is, what is the perception of the public afterwards? Like, after you accept it and take it in, what is your perception of, first, the young lady and the young man? We can start with Jasmine. Go ahead. Oh, boy. I don't really know much about the situation. I don't want to know about this particular situation. We're not going to talk about that no more. We're going to let that die. I don't know about a sex tape in general. On the whole? Yeah. I think they're terrible. I don't see the point of them, personally. I don't care, mm-hmm. like, if y'all two going through problems, I don't understand why the guy automatically is like, oh, let me just show this video of you having, of us having sex out there, like, nobody cares about these things, and you guys should just keep it private, like, deal with your problems on your own, as opposed to posting these different videos and trying to hurt so, her reputation, because at the end of the day, you're also hurting your reputation. As a human. So, but you're saying like, so you, you think the only reason sex tapes leak is because of problems? No, because there are some sex tapes where people leak them to try and be famous and stuff like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. Um, but in what if I was sexing a girl real good and I thought that the video was real? Like, let's say I sneaked the video, but it was real good and I wanted to show everybody because it was real good. Is that a possibility? You wanted to show the public because you thought it was real I thought, good. I thought I had good and I, I proud of myself. I want some ego boosting. Okay, but did you get her consent? Because if you didn't get her consent, then it's terrible. But if you, if you two both agree that yeah, y'all about this life and y'all want to really study mm-hmm. the public, that's on y'all. And whoever views you guys get, kudos to y'all because that's what y'all want to. Uh, and before we get into you, so what is your perception of like? I don't, I don't think you. Wa- I don't know if you watched it or not. And I don't even want to know if you watched it or not. Mm-hmm. But with the situation that happened, what would be your perception of a young lady in that situation? Like now that it didn't happen, it down out there. Everybody know who she is. Would, how would you receive her moving forward? Um, I would personally get in, like, I don't even know how to come to me. If it was a friend of yours, let me put it like that. Let's say it was a friend of yours. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I would hope none of my friends ever in that situation. <laughs> if you're a friend of Jasmine, I would hope you never put Jasmine in a situation. She don't know what the hell she'd do. But Jasmine, so let me let you think about that. No pause. No, let me put. Let me just think about that. What about you? So you heard about the situation. So I want you to give me from the male perspective the backlash from the situation. So in this particular situation, apparently the guy leaked the video. But apparently, he got particular backlash from it versus the girl. What do you think about that? So people, people were giving him backlash from that because they were like, first of all, she can't tell. I don't know why you're trying to disrespect her. Mm-hmm. She, she, a nice looking young lady. Nice looking young lady. He proceeded to say that his, his, his penis is small. And we're not going to judge males' penises on no, this show. And Mr. Anwar Snuffy Dog Smith, as well as Mr. Lionel Smith over here, will not judge not people's that. penises. But the general perception is. His penis is small. I, kinda, I found it weird because it was like, I was a guy because it was guys who were seeing it. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What type of people do you talk to? Have, but oh, go I'm ahead. I was talking to the guys who were seeing it with their And then you know, some people say, like, but honest of all, it's from a guy's perspective. And you can say whatever you want, a guy will always be able to say one thing. He, hit, he still hit the vibe, though. He still hit the vibe, though. So you trying to say males don't really get a bunch of a negative um, reaction to the end of the, at the end of the day? I'm so sorry. That's that's factual. That's factual. Honest to God. You never get a what? You believe that? You never get. Whew, I, we can just say there are people named two letters E J that well that's a lie. They do get girlfriends again. But go go, go ahead. Lack of loyalty, lack of loyalty. Uh, other words, it's like there's no way where you can trust that person that much without telling you like, oh, 
So we're going to stop that on the Black Song Podcast. If you want to make a sex tape, enjoy your life, enjoy your sexual life. We have differences of opinions. That is Lionel Smith's opinion. I assume that's the same opinion of Jasmine. But I will say on the Black Song Podcast, that is not the opinion of everybody expressed on this particular podcast. If you want to make a sex tape, love yourself, enjoy yourself. But Lionel, express your opinion. Continue. I'm going to be very honest with you. People on watch back and like, play the highlight reel. I don't want to get so... Please do not answer this, and I will, I will speak freely. Have you ever been in a situation, don't answer this, have you ever been in a situation where you had a girlfriend who, let's say you might not be a full-on religious person and your girlfriend says she ain't trying to sex you right now because she might be more religious or whatever personal reason she wants to sex you and she ain't sex you for a year, two years in that type of situation. Have you ever been in that type of situation? And imagine now how long a nice titty shot a nice cunny shot, a nice whatever will go. And imagine now you finally get that sex the first time and you imagine she say, you know what, let me give you something to commemorate because I don't want to give you it all the time. So I want to give you this time something to commemorate and she didn't say that. So imagine you decide on your own self that you want to commemorate it because you know you don't get this often and you record you a little something, something, something for yourself. Are you saying something wrong? You won't post it to nobody else, not for you. Something wrong with that? Can I say it? Can I say it? Let me is she ain't trying to give you no cunny? I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying that it's the first Hold time. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me talk to my, let me talk to my listeners. So, so far, if she ain't trying to give you the cunny, lie and say, break up with her ass. I with that. That's Continue. Right. Con- clarify yourself. And I guess you have to say the previous part, right? Uh-huh. So I speak all the time. I said that, honestly, I'm going to say, if the person is using you, it's a relationship. Fair. Okay, find some someone else. You hit me hard tonight. Oh my oh brother, you're preaching. Brother, you're preaching. Brother, you're preaching tonight. Brother, you're preaching tonight. You're hitting me hard tonight. I don't want to get so hard, but the day and not giving you what you need. Say it again for the listeners. Hey, oh. zoom, zoom in right on, uh, on Brother Lionel right now. But it's Brother Lionel now. Zoom in on Brother Lionel. Say it again. If you know, go ahead. I would. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jasmine. I also think it's terrible. Like, if you with this person and she gives you, like you were saying, she gave him some stuff. Mm-hmm. And. <laughs> some stuff. Go ahead. You have to secretly record them so that you could feel better later. Like, you, I don't think you need to be in a relationship with this person. You shouldn't. Well, you are not ready to be in a relationship. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole different that. topic. That's a whole different topic. And I can say, like, Mm-hmm. It's very, and I agree, I like the word. But if that person's not giving you, can I go and get it from someone else? That's your problem. That's your problem. Or oh, you should no. be able. If you also decide that, okay, he should go and get other stuff, then that's your relationship. But if she's saying no, it's like the mutual consensus is that she's not comfortable with this, and you don't agree with this, then maybe you also shouldn't be together. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to run over this topic, but I feel like I need some more people other than this strong relationship we have in front of us with Lionel and Jasmine. This relationship too strong to have these type of arguments, I don't know. 
I appreciate what they go. I would say to see y'all young people out here listening. Find you a situ- I'll say this again. Find you a situation where it's so strong where, first of all, you, you consider God, you consider yourself, and consider wise counsel in having a good relationship, as well as you set standards, whereas like once you break that standard, we're not moving past that. I want you to consider those things. And if you choose to consider those things and say, hey, I don't know if I can live up to that, listen to the Black Swan podcast, because I know I can't live up to that either. But I would love to appreciate and send a round of applause and say thank you to Lionel, thank you to Jasmine for being here sharing your opinions, sharing your strong views. we shooting on some topics. Again, this is just us giving our opinions and ideas on different ideas and topics and stuff like that. So we appreciate you for listening. As well as, remember, this is the Black Swan Podcast. That's B-L-A-C-K-S-W-A-N. My name is Anwar Smith, a.k.a. Snuffy Dog. And we'll see you again next time.